thank you very much uh, for this distinct time. I am uh, uh, <clears throat> probably going to get emotional because Gary was one of my dearest friends. But uh, Danny Hunt uh, surprised me with a phone call uh, a couple, couple of weeks ago. And uh, I, I have been honored with, with some awards during my coaching career. This one is going to be tough to talk about. Uh, such an honor. First of all, I want to thank the selection committee for this significant honor. I want to congratulate each of the inductees down here, very deserving. Um, my goodness, my first year of coaching in Harrisburg High School, I coached against Jay Ferris when he was coaching at Ashland, which is now called Southern Moon. That was a couple of days ago, Coach. I still remember coaching against you. Uh, Steve Hesser. Uh, I remember Steve Hesser called coaching Glendale High School, coming to our high school invitational tournament at Williamsville College, and his team won it. And I just admired the job that he did on the sideline, not realizing I was going to have to coach against him in future years. I do remember Edsel Matthews saying to me when he was hired, I just hired the best high school basketball coach I've ever seen, and that was Steve Hester. He's, uh, he's done a marvelous job at, at Drury. He's, he's a great competitor. His players uh, do what he wants them to do. In an efficient manner, and I, I congratulate you on winning that national title and being a national coach of the year. Coach. That's, that's significant. It's uh, marvelous what you've done. The other coach I want to mention is Glenn McDonald. Glenn, Glenn McDonald and I uh, were students together at, uh, at William Joe College back in the day, and I uh, had the honor of uh, uh, recruiting three of his players out of Hickman Mills High School, three of his players out of Lee Summit High School, all of them had significant careers at William Joe. And I also coached his son-in-law, Mike Lawson, who's here, who was a, an outstanding player on our program and played on two of our final four teams. His daughter, Lauren, was also a student manager in our program and did a great job. So I have a, a great respect for, for Glenn and Donald, what a marvelous coach. Um, I just completed my 46th year of coaching, um, all in the state of Missouri, one at the high school level. My first year at Harrisburg High School, uh, somebody else mentioned they were the only coach at that school. I coached 91 basketball games my first year as a basketball coach. <laughs> I didn't have an assistant. I coached uh, varsity JV junior high girls, varsity JV junior high boys. We practiced before school, during school, after school, Saturday mornings and Sunday afternoons. But guess what? That's what my dad did. My dad coached. And then I later played for a different coach at the high school level. That's what my high school coach did at those small high schools. And that was a great experience. I'm forever grateful to those people in Harrisburg. At the age of 23, I signed a contract to uh, be the head coach of Central Methodist College, now Central Methodist University. One of my friends was in line for that job, Vietnam call. He recommended me for the job. His name was Frank McKenzie. He was a great player at Chelhowie High School and Mobile Junior College at Cotton Fitzsimmons and Central Methodist University. So I owe a great debt of thanks to, to Frank McKenzie for recommending me for that job. Six years later, I'm the assistant coach at Northwest Missouri State and then the head coach at Northwest Missouri State. And then in the spring of 1979, the alma mater called. And I had such a great experience at William Joe College as a student athlete. How could I say no to going back there and coaching? Um, this award is so special because of my relationship with Gary Fulton. He was a friend and a mentor. First time I met him, I'm a graduate student at the University of Missouri. I'm playing with an AAU team called Heidelberg. I think that was named after a bar in Columbia. I'm pretty sure it was named after a bar in Columbia. And uh, we go over to Mexico High School where Gary was the head coach. I didn't know Gary Fuller. And uh, I'd heard his name a couple times because my cousin was a teammate of his at Missouri back in the day. So <clears throat> we start the game, and lo and behold, I'm guarding this really old guy. And I'm 22. I'm in graduate school. I'm still in pretty good shape. And I'm guarding this guy, I found out later, who was 38 years old, and that was really old. And so I thought, I'm going to give this guy some slack. Slack, so the basketball's passed around, he catches it, he's at the top of the key, takes the basketball, puts it here, and shoots a two-hand set shot. <laughs> I thought I was going to laugh a little, I hadn't seen one of those, and, and it went switch. And he did that about three times, I decided I better guard him. Um, I don't really know who won the game. I think our team did because I had some really good teammates uh, out of Heidelberg. But that was my first experience with Gary Fulber. My next experience with him was working at a basketball camp. I don't know if you know this about Gary, but the first basketball camps in the state of Missouri were started, if I'm correct, by Easy Ed McCauley in the St. Louis area. 
The second basketball camps in the state of Missouri were started by Bob and Anna, former coach at Missouri, and Central Methodist, and other places. Gary Colbert, head coach at Mexico High School, and Jim Clapp, head coach at Columbia Air. And they moved their camps to Central Methodist, where I was coaching. I was honored to do that. They brought in Larry Costello, the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks, because Bob and Anna was working for the Bucks at the time. After every session, we would play a game of horse. The coaches would get out there. Well, guess what? First game of horse, I get stuck behind Gary Colbert. He steps up the top of the circle, takes the basketball up here, shoots a real pretty two-hand set shot, swish. No problem, I step up, I'm shooting my little two-hand, my little one-hand set shot, and he goes, no, 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 no. You got to shoot it with two hands like I just shot. <laughs> Five air balls later, I am out of that game of horse. I worked that week, I got a little better at it. When I was following him, I went and worked his camp at Missouri Western. I got to where I could make a couple every once in a while. Those were my first experiences with him. My first year at Central Methodist was his first year at Missouri Western State College. Believe it or not, our teams traveled together to Jackson, Tennessee. We chartered a bus. Gary came down from St. Joe, picked us up in Columbia, and we traveled all the way to Jackson, Tennessee, and played Lambeth University and Union University, and switched opponents on Saturday. And uh, that's how close we became. We traveled to Columbus, Ohio together for a coaching conference, recruiting trips together. I even went on one of his honeymoons. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was not limits. It was not limits. No, I didn't know limits. But uh, you think I'm making that up? I went on Gary Fuller's second honeymoon. I did. And uh, I won't tell all those stories. <laughs> uh, he introduced me to my first wife, Ann. Uh, she never forgave me. Uh, but uh, she was from Mexico, Missouri, where Gary was coaching. He taught her how to swim, uh, and that her family was very close. Uh, we went to Final Fours with uh, Gary and Linda. He talked me into playing in the three-on-three -three tournament with him in downtown Columbia. Uh, he came up to me. When we got down there, I brought Lee Carrick with me. He had to have a couple of younger guys. I was about 44, Lee Carrick was about 41, Gary was in his 60s, and the other guy was in his 70s. And so we had this category, whatever it was, it was a really old category. So we go to the hotel and we're getting our gear on, we're going downtown, we're going to play some three on three basketball I hadn't played in years. I was pretty sure I was going to shoot my air balls. Find Gary, and Gary said, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is, we won, we won our division. We were the only team in <laughs> The bad news is we had to play in the 35 and older division. The very first game that we played against, I'm guarding Barry Laurie. And Barry Laurie had just turned 35 years of age. And he's in shape and I'm not. Um, Lee Carrick and my assistant coach is having to go against a guy named Gene Jones. Some of you remember him, all big eight University of Missouri. We were embarrassed on shooting air balls. Lee can't get a shot off because Lee, because Gene Jones blocking all of them. We rested up, we got to go play our next game. <clears throat> Lee is matched up with Al Everhart. I don't think Lee ever forgave him for uh, putting him in that three on three tournament. We actually came back and did, did better the second day. Gary speaking at my wife's funeral. My, uh, my first wife passed away in 2006, and Gary spoke at the funeral, did a marvelous job. He had a marvelous, has a marvelous family, love of the game, the state games, uh, the largest state games, I believe, in the United States, and he was the guy that uh, started those. Uh, the MBCA. This building uh, is this is in part here because of Gary Fuller. Uh, his coaching record is great teams at Mexico High School and Missouri Western. This is an award I will always treasure. Obviously, I owe special thanks to my family. My dad was a coach. Um, I loved his teams. I loved it, being in the gym with him. Uh, my mom was my biggest fan. To my to my first wife Ann and our three daughters. To my wife Linda, who is here today. The many outstanding assistant coaches and supportive administrators, but most of all, the players who made me much smarter on most nights. So the committee, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart, and most especially, uh, I wish Linda were here. Well, I did talk to her about this award, and this has been really special for me. Just remember, I'm a Missouri boy from a small town. I'm always, uh, always saying all roads lead to Jameson in a small college. Every day is a great day to be in William Joe Carlin. Thank you so very much for this honor. I cherish it.